I want to use this podcast today to talk to you guys about recording acoustic guitar and hopefully give you some tips to get a better sound out of your acoustics when you record them. Um, everybody these days has a recording system at home with a, with a, on your computer. Uh, most everybody does. So even if you've been playing for a long time, this might be a new concept to you. And there's definitely a few things that are really going to help you get a better sound when you're recording. Um, the first thing is probably probably very obvious, which is putting new strings on your guitar. That'll automatically bring uh, the most out of your guitar sound. And then beyond that, it's really about the signal chain from the player to the instrument, the pickup that you're using or the microphone that you're recording it with into the preamp and the settings on that and then into the computer um, and then how you mix it too. So what we're going to talk primarily about today is uh, the microphone and the microphone placement and pickups and really to that end there's two different ways to get the sound out of the guitar and that's one was with an uh, electronic pickup that's usually a piezo pickup in an acoustic guitar and if you notice when I play a chord with that sound sort of a sort of a hard sound to it it just sounds kind of uh, well it sounds fake basically sometimes that's a sound that you actually do want um, for certain types of mixing and certain types of songs uh, but it definitely has a little bit of a different sound than just if you were just to hear a guitar acoustically in a room and um, one of the things you can do to kind of get rid of that uh, real mid-rangey tone, the kind of hard sound of the pickup, is to roll the mid-range down on your EQ. If you have an EQ on your guitar, bring the mids down a little bit and bring the bass and the treble up. You can see on the controls on this guitar that I've done just that. I've got the bass and treble up, which effectively is bringing down the mids. There's a little bit of a thinner sound to it. It's not so, uh, it almost kind of th sounds more acoustic that way. And um, the best thing, in my opinion, that you can do to get a real good acoustic guitar sound is to use a condenser microphone. There's really three different types of microphones on the market, dynamic microphones, condenser microphones, and ribbon microphones. And for our purposes today, we're going to talk about condenser microphones, which are by far and away the most commonly used for recording acoustic instruments, including guitar. Um, and they come in two varieties, large diaphragm condensers, uh, which look sort of like vocal mics, which is what they are and small diaphragm condensers, which is what I've got here. Um, a single small diaphragm condenser mic can run anywhere from $200 and up, usually. Um, and you pretty much get what you pay for with them. You, you'll probably notice the difference as you get more and more high-end with them. Um, the basic placement for the microphone for most recording situations is going to be how I have it here. You'll notice I have it pointed right at the guitar fretboard where the neck actually joins the body. In this case, it's around the 14th fret. If I were to get that microphone too close to the sound hole, um, you'd really get a lot of booming bass. And if you get it too far away, you won't get enough bass. So you really kind of have to audition it a little bit and hear the, uh, the way it sounds. You'll notice when I play this with the microphone, it has a more natural kind of acoustic sound. <laughs> So again, the pickup can be really helpful uh, if you're playing live. Obviously, you might not want to sit in front of a microphone the whole time in, in a live performance. And a pickup generally gives the uh, mixing engineer a much better way of setting up the sound, uh, more control over the sound than a microphone would. And microphones are real prone to feedback in live situations. But that being said, if you're recording and you really want to get that natural wooden kind of acoustic guitar tone, your best bet is to find a good condenser, small diaphragm condenser microphone. The one I've got here is just sort of a medium range, um, not a very high price small diaphragm condenser, but it still sounds good. And at that point, um, it really comes down to two questions. Where do you put the mic? How do you place it? And how many microphones do you use? You could use one or two for a more stereo sound. We'll talk about two mics in a minute. But when I play a chord on this, you can instantly hear a more acoustic sounding tone with that. So if you just kind of you can really hear that that has a much more natural kind of acoustic tone. Um, and the placement of the microphone, if I'm just using a single microphone as I have here, generally the place to start is going to be pointing the microphone at the fretboard, maybe an inch or two off the fretboard, 
essentially right where the neck joins the body. So you can see in this case, that's right around the 14th fret. Um, again, right where the neck joins the body is kind of the standard. If you got closer to the sound hole, um, brought it more towards this area here, you definitely get a lot more bass out of the sound, which can be a good or bad thing. If you, if you're, uh, if you get way too much bass, it can be a real problem when you're trying to mix it um, with other instruments. Um, it can really cloud up the sound. But that being said, if it's too far away from the sound hole, obviously you won't get enough bass. And if you wanted to maybe pull the microphone out a little bit, maybe a couple feet out from the mic, from the uh, guitar rather, you're going to pick up more of the acoustic qualities of the room that you're recording in, which is a can be again a very good or bad thing depending on the room. So that's just something to experiment with. Uh, a couple other things you could do is try some some radical mic placements. Just try it maybe over the uh, the shoulder of the guitar player as if it's picking up the sound of the guitar from the player's ear perspective. Um, or even miking it down towards the bridge can have re good results. If you're using two mics, you could actually put a second mic sort of shotgun down the neck, like uh, pointed down the neck at the headstock for a different uh, sound too. So if you're recording with two microphones, you have to be aware that you could be out of phase. If you happen to notice that there's a real lack of bass when you put both microphones in together, or if um, it just sort of the volume drops a little bit, instead of it sounding bigger and more stereo, it actually gets the opposite effect. Your microphones are out of phase in that situation, and the best thing to do is just really to play around with the mic placements in different places, and eventually you'll find a place where they are uh, working together. And if you're stereo tracking um, with two mics, one of the best things you can do is try to play around with the panning of the uh, mic sources in the mix. So you could put one sort of in the left, one in the right to a certain degree, or maybe all the way, and that can really give you a much uh, broader acoustic sound as well, much more dimensional acoustic sound. And then the other thing is um, literally double tracking. So if I recorded a part, and then recorded another part on top of it, had them panned left and right, hard left and hard right, you'd notice how they, uh, it really gives a much more stereo kind of effect. Um, and hopefully that's some tips to help you record your acoustic guitar. Come Around, I wrote with Tim Kreckel and it was on the record Glimmer. Starts on E minor to D to the C shape back to D. Not since then I've changed my ways. I'm not bothered.